Hi guys, I was browsing through the Hugging Face daily papers that I am subscribed to. So when I was going through the the daily papers of 28 Feb, I came across this interesting sounding paper known as the era of 1-bit LLMs. All large language models are in 1.5-bit bits, which sounds too good to be true. So I went ahead and uh, got the paper, downloaded it, and gave it a rating, and I found it absolutely amazing. It delivers what it promises. So, let's look at the paper, the era of 1-bit LLMs. All large language models are in 1.5-bit bit. Now, what they're calling it is they're introducing a 1-bit LLM variant, and they're naming it BitNet B1.58, in which every single parameter or weight of the LLM is a ternary, which is minus 1, 0, and 1. So instead of the uh, floating point 16 or BF16, we're just going to have this ternary here. Now, it claims that it matches the full precision transformer LLM model with the same size and training tokens in terms of both perplexity and the end task performance. Now, that is amazing. Now, while being significantly more cost effective, it should be because there is a less number of calculations that needs to be done. Now, the 1.5 bit LLM defines a new scaling law and recipe for training new generations of LLMs that are both high performance and cost effective. I understand the cost effective. I understand the high performance. But is it too good to be true? Let's look at it. So what they're proposing is a Pareto improvement here. So generally what happens is that in the floating point 16, uh, we have this Y, which is the output here, Y. This output is a matrix multiplication of the model weight. Or you can call that uh, a pre-trained weight or a fine-tuned weight. But ultimately, this is the model weights are represented in a FP 16-bit a representation and we have this input so what happens uh, for the output is that it is just a function of a uh, model weight in x uh, specifically it's uh, a multiplication of wx plus a uh, bias term but ultimately what we're going to have is let's say point is zero nine two six one uh into you know multiplied by x zero then we have minus uh, 0 0.0495 multiplied by x1. So, so and so we have the multiplication first, and then we had the addition or subtraction. Subtraction. But what they're proposing in the 1.58 bit is that it is just addition. Because since it is 1, uh, since it is a minus 1 or a 0. So these three numbers, when you multiply, for example, x0 with 1, that is x0 itself, you multiply x0 with minus 1, that is minus x0, you multiply x0 with 0, uh, that is 0. So, you know, the uh, performances will definitely increase because uh, we had the multiplication then addition here, and now we have just the addition here. So, you're going to read through this paper and try to understand uh, the different nuances of this technology. So in recent years, the field of AI has seen a rapid growth in the size and capability of large language models. These models have demonstrated remarkable performance in a wide range of natural language processing tasks. We cannot deny, but the increasing size has posed challenges for deployment and raised concerns about their environmental and economic impact due to high energy consumption. One thing is that we should be trying to reduce the energy. Then the other thing is that we need uh, speed. And for example, to run a 70 billion parameter, we need a huge, huge RAM. And that is not possible in a consumer uh, you know, hardware. But we need a GPU. But ultimately, these two criterias have guided these researchers to move towards the one bit LLM. Now, one approach to address these challenges is to use the pros training quantization, which means the Q LoRa, quantized LoRa, or uh, the LoRa principle, uh, fine tuning, that you can use to reduce the memory usage and thereby 
uh, trying to address the high energy consumption as well but our models are improving and it's improving day by day and normally the trend has been to move from a 16 bit to a lower bit such as a 4 bit variant but even that it is not going to help in a longer term so recent work on one bit uh, modern architecture such as the bitnet represents a promising direction for reducing the cost of llms while maintaining the performance so we cannot forego the performance we cannot allow performance to decrease but at the same time we are trying to reduce the cost as well vanilla llms are a 16-bit floating point and the bulk of any llm is matrix multiplication therefore the major competition cost comes from the floating point addition and multiplication operations as we have seen in contrast the matrix multiplication of bitnet only involves integer addition because we have seen we have only ternary so that's a minus one a zero or a one and therefore it's just addition and subtraction of course but it's just addition if we take minus of something as minus one which saves orders of energy cost pretty good looking good so in this work, we introduced a significant one bit LLM variant called the BitNet B1.58. Remember this name, where every parameter is ternary, taking on values of minus one, zero, and one. We have added an additional value of zero to the original one bit BitNet, resulting in 1.58 bits of the binary system. Now BitNet 1.58 retains all the benefits of the original one bit BitNet, including this new computational paradigm. Pretty cool. Furthermore, BitNet 1.0 offers two advantages. Firstly, its modeling capabilities are stronger due to the explicit support for feature filtering and made possible by the inclusion of zero in the model weights. Secondly, our experiments show that BitNet B1.58 can match full precision baseline in terms of both perplexity and end task performance. Too good to be true. Let's look at the quantization function. Now, this is the function that converts the numbers, the floating point numbers, into a ternary number through the weights of minus one, zero, and one. And then we are going to have a look at the performance. So let's look at this one. So Lama LLM size is 700 million and BitNet B1.58, both of the same size. You can see the memory required is reduced. It's just 0.8 GB and this is 2 GB so that's a pretty good reduction latency is reduced as well next zero shot accuracy we can see that this has pretty decent accuracy improvements and we're going to look at the results here we see that the latency uh, you can see a 4.1x times uh, the llama takes 4.1x 10x time x uh, then the bitnet b1.58 and here on the right we see the memory consumption the llama is being compared with and we can see that the orange which is the bitnet b1.58 takes in lesser memory now this is huge they have tested out with uh, the energy consumption as well and on the right is the energy uh, that is being taken by the model here this is pretty amazing now we are i think the first step of moving forward in this directions of, of reducing the memory it has also mentioned the recent work like grok that is a huge inference speed uh, i'll bring up the next video on grok but even better than grog this is going to be revolutionary and we must be fortunate we must be fortunate enough to have received and read this paper and let's wait for the community to gear up and bring some use cases or why wait let's create the use cases ourselves i will bring up more interesting videos like this but this is amazing Please check out the other videos on my channel. Join my Patreon where we are going to work together to uh, fulfill the requests of my clients. And that is going to be an opportunity for you uh, to earn as well. Now, having said that, this is your host from The Engineer. I will see you next time. I'm sorry uh, I was on a tour and therefore this mic issue. I'm recording this on a mobile phone and therefore the voice might end the environment might not be suited but this is too cool of a paper to be missed and therefore i wanted to share 
ASAP. Thank you. Have a nice day.